welcome back guys. I live here in Oklahoma and in the Midwest. If you've ever been through, you know that we like our ranch. Here in Oklahoma, we actually refer to it as Oklahoma ketchup. Um, so my favorite ranch is from a Midwest pizza chain. It is called Mazio's and they are actually very well known for their ranch dressing. They sell it in a 12 ounce family size tub that I have bought on location. Um, it's really, really good, nice and heavy. It's got a really thick texture and we just really love it. Not too long ago, my husband challenged me to hack the Mazio's ranch dressing recipe and guys, after a couple attempts, let me tell you, I am so close. We aren't even dropping by Mazio's anymore. If you like copycat videos and you'd like to see the next one we've got in store for you, go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn the notifications on so you can see when we drop the next one, let's make some ranch. So I've been to a lot of restaurants with really, really great ranch dressing. And in the restaurants that they, that with that great ranch dressing, I always say, hey, how do you make your ranch dressing? And it's always the same answer. These three players right here. So we've got mayonnaise, but I've been told that Mazio's uses Duke. So that's what I've got today. Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. Across the board is always the answer. And then buttermilk. For buttermilk today, I'm using the Seiko Pantry buttermilk. It is, it looks just like this. So it's a powder. You can actually mix with water and make buttermilk. And it's really great for, let's say you're out of milk, or the store doesn't have buttermilk, or you don't know how to make your own, or you've just got some wonky shortage, or like us, you're snowed in right now. Um, this stays shelf stable until you've opened it and after that it just stores really easily in the refrigerator. Through trial and error, I have added two more tools to my arsenal. That's going to be Parmesan cheese and sour cream. And I just really like the thickness and the texture that they provide. All right guys, so this is going to be a really quick recipe. It shouldn't take more than 10 minutes, 15 if you count cleanup. And I've got everything pre-measured out just to make this a really quick video for you, okay? Um, I like to store mine in a mason jar, so I've made sure that this end product will fit. So what we've got for today is going to be four parts mayo to three parts buttermilk. And so to fit in the mason jar, I've got two cups of mayo and one and a half cup buttermilk. And I know you're looking around saying, well, I don't see any buttermilk ready to go. That's what this water is for. So with the Seiko Pantry buttermilk, um, it is one tablespoon to every quarter cup. And all we're going to do is just whisk it in here, mix it in really nice, make sure there are no lumps, and then we'll be able to go ahead and add that. All right, guys, so the buttermilk is just that simple. And so from there, this is so easy. All we're going to do is dump everything in. Now, for our two cups mayo, our one and a half cup of buttermilk, we've got two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese three tablespoons or one of the flat packs of the ranch seasoning powder. I buy mine in the uh, in the big container because we happen to go through it quite a bit. So just dump that guy in as well. And then we've got two tablespoons of sour cream. All right. And so we've got this started here. And then I do not like pouring all my buttermilk in at one point because I would kind of like to see the thickness and sort of how it sits before I pour everything in there. If you like a thinner buttermilk, go ahead and dump it all in. Uh, we are just using a whisk in a bowl today. And the reason for that is the first advice I got when I started researching how to make ranch dressing on my own to copycat Mazio's was just throw it in a blender for four or five minutes. So I did that. And it came out the thinnest ranch dressing I'd ever tried. And I did not understand why. So I looked it up. Turns out mayo <laughs> is already emulsified. And emulsification is essentially when you whip air molecules into something. So the vinegar and the egg and those kinds of things that are in the mayo, when they whip that air in and then you put it in a blender, you cut all those air molecules out. So where it was light and fluffy and thick, We've just undone that step. So this time, or the next time, I tried it with the just the whisk and came out with much better results. So look at this. We haven't even been whisking for very long, and look at how nice and thick this is. And so that's what the spoons are for. 
you can actually kind of see how thick that sits. So that's probably just a little bit too thick. We're gonna use a little bit more of the buttermilk there. See, that's quite a bit better. You can almost see a little bit of that gray on the spoon. And so that's what we have that here for. And then one other thing that I've got all these spoons here for is to taste test. How are you gonna know that you like your ranch dressing if you don't try it? And so just, guys, that tastes like Mazio's ranch to me. If you need to add a little more ranch dressing or buttermilk or maybe a little more Parmesan, whatever it is you need to do, this is when you want to do it. And when you add it, write it down. So you've got that recipe for next time. Oh, I forgot something, you guys. All right. So this ranch dressing is perfect on a salad, on wings, french fries, whatever you like ranch on. So we'll just pour that in. And look at that, guys. That's perfect for a mason jar. If you guys happen to keep them in your house, then this will be great for you. If you've got a recipe that you'd like for me to copycat or reverse engineer, go ahead and leave it down in the comments, you guys. I would love a new challenge. Uh, if you'd like to see more copycat videos or any of the other things I've got in store for you, please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and like this video if it added value for you. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.